everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you another one of these designs that is using my practice finger. This one is also all gel and it is going to be Nerds, the candy, which is such a cool concept. I love the idea that you can take something that you might not have otherwise used. I know when it comes to us, like for Halloween or whenever it is that we happen to get Nerds, we just don't really use them for anything else. So I figured why not stick them in a nail? So we've got the Nerds. I also cut out one of the little Nerd people from the box and I stuck that in there, so if you're not as big on hand painting, that would be kind of a fun way to be able to include things. So cute, I love this whole design. The nerds remind me of geodes once they get filed. Side note though, they do really clog up your e-file bits, so be prepared for a lot of cleaning afterwards, but it's fun, it's so much fun. I hope you guys like it and I'll see you all next time, bye. So just like the other nails in this series where I'm showing you these nails I created for, um, that I was commissioned to create, we are still going to be sculpting. This one is so much fun, you guys. If you are not gonna try any of these that I'm doing besides one, I highly recommend you do this one just because it's relatively quick and it is just really so much fun. It is so satisfying. So fit your form to your nail and sculpt a thin layer of gel that is a builder gel on the nail form to the length that you want your enhancement to be. Of course, if you want a longer enhancement, just take it down a little farther. The more space you have, the more nerds you can fit in. And because some of them are a little bit bigger, I would recommend at least having a decent sized length, not something super short because you don't have much space then. It's not as, uh, not as much opportunity for the fun. After you have that full base sculpted out with the clear builder gel, then I'm going to take a glittery, slightly pink tone gel polish, and I'm just going to be applying a little bit of that glitter from the cuticle down a little ways just to sort of soften the transition from actual nail to the extension. Now I'm going to spread a layer of a jewelry gel over the enhancement. It's really a good thing to have a thick layer of jewelry gel. Don't be skimpy with it. And I'm going to sprinkle my pink nerds over the top. They did not stick very well. So I'm going to use my fingers. I'm going to sort of corral them and bring them back in and add ones in. As you're doing this, obviously nerds are different sizes. So try to pick ones that fit in the space that you have a little bit better. Along the edges, you may want to use smaller ones. Then after I'm done with that, I'm going to take a box of grape nerds, which have the little purple nerd, nerd creatures, and I'm going to cut one of them out. I'm going to do this really carefully, trying to cut it exactly where, you know, where the design is. It's not super easy. It is so tiny. And because it is card stock, it's a little thicker. So cutting it takes a little bit more effort than if it was just paper. If you, you know, if you didn't want to do it that way, you could certainly paint a little nerd on top too, which is probably what I would do the next time, just because I like to hand paint. I attached my little nerd above the nerds on the nail, and then I removed my nail form. I now get to try to coat these nerds with builder gel. And the reason for this design I'm using gel versus using acrylic is because I was really concerned that the monomer from the acrylic would dissolve the candy coating on the nerds. I did not try this. This is not something that I have verified the information on. I just, it was like one of those, yeah, that seems like a bad idea kind of a situations. If you do try it and you do see if the monomer does anything to the nerd coating, let me know if it works or not, just because I'm usually a fan of acrylic and I prefer to use acrylic, so probably would be the way I would do something like this in the future, but I was too chicken to try it. So after you do the first coat of builder gel where you really worked it in and around the nerds, do a second coat, possibly even a third coat. Try to build it up and smooth it out. It's not going to be perfectly smooth. Obviously it's super lumpy, but you want them to be well coated. I'm going to then cleanse the nail and now we get to do the filing process, which like I said, really clogs your bits. I ended up using two bits on this one nail because they needed to be washed. And so just do the first one, turn your e-file up, get it up high. You can already see that I'm getting candy stuck in my e-file bit, but just keep filing. I switched over to a different one and we're just going to keep kind of working it, working away some of that excess product thinning out the nail, getting into shape, and revealing the super cool pattern that the nerds have inside when you slice them like this open. So it's just really, it's one of those designs that as you're working on it, you don't really know how it's going to turn out because you don't know what's going to be exposed. I love something like this. I don't do it very often where I encapsulate weird things, but I think I might do it more just because the excitement over getting to file it and see what happens is is really quite addictive. So we're going to just go through, like I said, file it into shape. I'm going to adjust the free edges a little bit with my e-file. And then as soon as I'm happy with the way that the nerds are presented, I am going to be done. As soon as the nail isn't too thick or too thin anywhere, well, too thin is a different story. As soon as it's not too thick anywhere and I'm happy with the way that the nerds look, then I'm going to call it quits and I'm going to apply another layer of builder gel over the top. You have to add another layer of builder gel over the top because there is some exposed candy and you want to make sure that that is coated. 
after you have added that thin layer of builder over the top cleanse it again apply a top coat and that's it and i think they look so cool you wouldn't even necessarily know that they're nerds. It's just a super interesting pattern, and I am so impressed with the way that the whole thing turned out. If you decide to try it and you switch up the colors, do a different flavor, you could do like a rainbow of nerds, and it would be amazing. I would love to see it. Also, let me know if it works with acrylic, and I will see you all next time. Bye!